What is the value of a Power BI certification? Recently, Microsoft launched a new certification exam, the DA100. And in this video, we're going to talk through what is the major benefit of getting these types of certifications. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's John David here, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you want more content related to analytics and how you can land your next analytics job. Today's topic is the DA100 Power BI certification exam. So what is the value of actually getting these certifications? I would say it falls under personal branding. And that is actually the topic of the podcast for this month. So we have been talking through all the different ways you can personally brand yourself. I think probably the most valuable thing you can do to really brand yourself is building out an analytics portfolio. Because that really helps you put your money where your mouth is. And it shows that you can actually analyze data and think critically. But I would say a close second behind that would be getting certified. And especially if you had both of these together, if you had a solid portfolio and a certification, I think that's like a one-two knockout punch in terms of setting yourself apart from all of the other people interviewing for the same job you are. So what does this mean in terms of personal branding? I mean, when you think of that, well, when I think of branding, I think of like Coca-Cola or some of these big companies. But if you are applying for a job or interviewing, you're kind of almost in a commodities market. So your interviewer is looking at you and they might be looking at four or five other different candidates who are equally as qualified as you. So any way that you can set yourself slightly apart from the competition can really help go a long way in terms of helping you land a job. So a certification, what it does is it proves that you are at least capable with that platform. It may not do a great job of proving that you're an effective analyst, but at least lets the employer know that they're not going to have to start from ground zero when you enter that new role. So they're not going to have to send you to a training program to get you up and running. You can you know, hit the ground running and you're going to be effective at at least using that platform. Now, the reason why I say a portfolio plus a certification is like a one-two knockout punch is that you can prove that you actually know the software, but then in the interview, you can actually talk through your portfolio and prove that you have that analytical thinking ability. So I think that this new exam for Power BI is a great opportunity, especially right now, because I mean, I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're completely on lockdown because of COVID. And now is the perfect time for you to start studying and really putting some time into upskilling yourself because that's going to make you so much more marketable for your next analytics job. Thank you guys for tuning in, and if you like this content, you know, please hit that like button, and if you want to subscribe, make sure you ring the bell and you'll get notifications when we post. We post videos typically three times a week, so our podcast episode on Tuesday, and then two episodes on Wednesday and Thursday that are about a specific deep dive on a topic. I'll see you guys later.